this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Now, what I want to do in this video is uh, point you to a whole bunch of videos that are available online. And it's videos regarding a show that I used to watch when I was in university. And this, I used to watch this religiously. If time allowed, right? If, you know, the show didn't come up during the exam, during the class time or whatever, I would hightail it back home and try to make sure I watched the show. And it's a program that was... Uh, broadcast on TV Ontario so it was a local public television network right and the episodes were 30 minutes long there were no commercials uh, or 25 minutes long so there, there were no commercials and it was sort of a, a program geared towards science fiction fantasy comic books literature technology uh, it was sort of a, the description for it I, I printed this off uh, the description on wiki for it is this Prisons of Gravity was a Canadian public broadcasting television news magazine program that explored speculative fiction, right? But it was so much more than that. Um, you know, the, the highlight here, science fiction, fantasy, horror, comic books, and whatnot. Uh, it was sort of interview-based, and the, the, pr uh, the presenter was uh, Rick Green, and if you're Canadian, you know Rick Green. And um, this was... Uh, this program was created by you know someone who had a comic book retail store and a writer and stuff like this so there's a fair bit of people in the know in the industry that were putting this program together and there was 139 episodes overall aired it ran for five years and it ran from 1989 to 19 um, 1989 to 1994 right so it ran for five seasons five years right and it's absolutely brilliant really if uh, if you're a fan of comic books if you're a fan of science fiction if you're a fan of fantasy if you're a fan of uh, technology right if you're a fan of transhumanism if you're a fan of artificial intelligence if you want to know what our society has done is capable of doing and could possibly uh, you know where our society could possibly go this show is absolutely brilliant really I've had a lot of people ask me over the over the years you know what some of the programs are what, what some of the uh, media that I consume and I've shared some of that information with you guys maybe regarding politics economics maybe regarding um, music some music you know a lot of comic books and I just recently showed you my science fiction fact and fantasy book collection right and asked you for recommendations on what to read and there's been a awesome recommendations coming and I've been introduced to a lot of science fiction fantasy novels that I didn't know right and I'm sort of leaning towards reading a set that I actually have that people have recommended and I'm missing uh, the first issue as a trilogy right so I've shared a fair bit of information with you on what I like, what I've consumed over years and stuff like this. And some of those things have influenced me a lot in my life, right? This program, Prisoners of Gravity, is hands down one of the programs that have influenced me the most. One of the reasons, one of the my influences, my inspirations for doing what I do right now on YouTube. And if this program... If Prisoners of Gravity was being broadcast now, uh, it would be one of the most popular programs online, without a doubt, without a doubt, right? So what I want to do is direct you to a channel that has sort of archived some of the stuff. And, you know, they put together, there was 139 episodes available, they created, and there's 160 or so videos available on this channel and the channel is called this week and second this week on second nature right and the user that uploaded this is uh, ted dog 3000 okay and i'll provide the link in the description of this video and you can find some uh, some additional episodes of prisons of gravity online as well randomly um, but this stuff, uh, just to just to get, let you know, each program is about 30 minutes long, 20, 25 minutes long. And this uh, person, Teddy Dog 3000, started uploading these episodes in 2007. And 
that was the first one that was uploaded, June 2007. That was almost about the same time, uh, a couple of weeks before I started uploading on YouTube my content, right? 2007, and the last one that he uploaded was 2009. So during that period when YouTube was was in its infancy, really, you couldn't upload more than 10 minute videos, right? So each segment is broken down into three parts, right? Part one of three, part two of three, part three of three. So if you're looking at an episode, um, if you go on there, if you're doing a search for Prisoner of Gravity, uh, just know that, that some of the 10 minute segments, there are there are three parters, right? And there are some episodes available online that are 30 minute segments, right? And just to give you a heads up of the type of, uh, yeah, God, cat <laughs> just woke up, came over. Uh, so let me just give you uh, just a taste of the content that they've created, right? The topics that they've talked in this video, just to, just to give you a rundown. I took, it, remember, it ran for five years, five seasons, and there's 139 videos, 139 episodes, okay, that they created. And the archive, uh, this channel, This Week on Second Nature, only has about a third of those episodes available. The rest are not available. Uh, TV, um, a, a TV Ontario used to have the videos available on their website, but they pulled them because of our archaic copyright laws. So I'm not sure when this stuff is going to become available in public domain, all of it. It's going to be a while if certain laws are passed. So if anybody has information of where all of these are available, uh, please post a comment. I've personally, I've already downloaded, grabbed all the all the episodes available on this channel so i have it downloaded myself as well just in case that gets taken down but let me give you a taste of well let me give you a taste of uh, the types of uh, topics they covered and the topics were basically each episode had sort of a topic they explored and they interviewed uh, hundreds of people there's uh I made a little note of it. There was, uh, there's, they roughly interviewed 600 people. And we're not talking about anybody. We're talking about some of the greatest creators of our time, right? Just to list some of these people, um, you know, they are, are interviewed authors, artists, comic book creators. They interviewed filmmakers, animators, futurists. They interviewed a whole bunch of people. Some of the people... Right. Just to name you some of the people they got on this here. Uh, as far as authors go, they got Clive Barker, Ray Bradbury, da uh, David Brin, Charles DeLent, uh, Harleen Ellison, William Gibson, Pratchett, Anne Rice, uh, Spider Robertson, uh, Robert J. Sawyer. Um, some of the comic book creators they interviewed, they got a whole series. One of the last in interviews that... Uh, Jack Kirby gave, right? They did a whole episode on Jack Kirby, right? And they interviewed him. Um, as far as comic book creators go, they got uh, Jack Kirby, Chris Claremont, Will Eisner, Neil Gaiman, Bob Kane, Jack Kirby, on oh, Jack Kirby mentioned, Stan Lee, uh, Daniel Close, Scott McDonald, Frank Miller, Alan Moore. I watched interview of Todd McFarlane when he was just starting out working on Spider-Man, where it was a little... I don't want to use the wrong word. It was, you know, it was pretty cocky and talking a lot, right? Uh, they got Gene, you know, as far as creators go, they got Gene Rottenberry, uh, Michael Dorn. Uh, they got James Cameron, David Cronenberg. Like the list goes on and on and on and on, right? Uh, as far as topics goes, here are some of the topics that they covered. And people, people mention that I have a, you know, I cover a lot of topics. I'm a little ADD in a certain, a certain sense that I cover, talk about a lot of things. Here are some of the topics that they covered. And this is just some of them, right? Um, topics of the episodes. They talked about censorship, irony, irony, irony in comics, nuclear weapons, environment, horror, animation, time travel, genetic engineering, violence, politics, vampires, death, cyber. Punk, Justice, Watchmen, Children, 
Dreams, Fear, Religion, Alternate Histories, Ray Bradbury, Madness, Time Travel, Sex and Weapons, right? Information, Racism, Computer Games, Immortality, God, Creator's Rights, Life and Space, Sandman, Games, The Daredevil Token, Medicine and Nanotechnology, right? Memory, Post Apocalypse, Homosexuality. They had a whole episode dedicated to Jack Kirby, Monsters, Virtual Reality, Sexism and Feminism, Comic Book Layouts, Evolution, The Brain and Artificial Intelligence. Wow. Okay. Uh, now, this may seem like I'm building this up a lot. And if you've watched my videos, you'll know that I think a lot of things are fantastic and a lot of things are beautiful and a lot of things are worth experiencing. Prisoners of Gravity is one of the cream of the crops, right? This is a must if you're a science fiction, fantasy, comic book, literature, technology, if you're a fan of our society and knowing what has taken place and where we're going, this is the show you want to see. Okay. The YouTube channel is called This Week in Second Nature. And huge a thank you to Teddy Dog 3000 for uploading these in 2007 to 2009. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.